Hey there, AI enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and updates on artificial intelligence. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss running Llama 2 locally. So, let's dive right in. Recently, a post on Hacker News caught our attention. It provides a step by step guide on how to run Llama 2 on various devices. Now, if you're not familiar with Llama 2, it's an open source tool that allows you to train and fine tune language models for natural language processing tasks. The guide introduces three open source tools that you can use to run Llama 2 locally. These tools are a great way to get started, especially if you're new to the world of AI. And if you're wondering about the RAM requirements, the guide also mentions the recommended RAM for running different versions of Llama 2. It's always good to know what you need before diving into a new project. Now, let's take a look at some of the interesting comments on the post. One user shares specific instructions for building Llama 2 on Windows. This can be really helpful for those of you who prefer to work on the Windows operating system. Another user talks about the use of prompt templates. These templates can be a great way to generate diverse and creative responses from your language models. It's like giving your AI a starting point and letting it run wild with its imagination. But wait, there's more. Some users discuss the limitations of the LLM or the language learning model and how live coding streams can be used for fine-tuning Llama 2. This is a fascinating approach to continuously improving your language models in real time. And of course, we can't forget about hardware requirements. There are discussions about running Llama 2 on different GPUs. So, depending on your setup, you can choose the best hardware that suits your needs. Now, if you're looking for alternative tools, the comments section has got you covered. Users mention tools like Alama and LMStudio.ai. These tools might offer different features and functionalities that could be worth exploring. Speaking of LMStudio.ai, some users inquire about the source code for LMStudio.ai. It seems like there's a lot of interest in this tool, and it would be great to see its source code made available. That's all for today's video on running Llama 2 locally. We hope you found this information useful and that it sparks your curiosity to dive deeper into the world of AI. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting AI news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.